guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to, well, not welcome back to, welcome to episode 1 of, um, Java game, 2D game development tutorials. Now, I've already done these series, I know, so if you look back, there will be those series, but they weren't very good. So, um, if you've been brought here from the old series, welcome, I'm Ben, and, uh, we're gonna be making a 2D game, um, but we're gonna make it better this time, uh, because last time I didn't make it very good. Um, so, yes, we're going to want to make a new Java project, and we're going to want to call this, um, uh, J -J Java game, like that. Um, and let's make a package, let's call it com .bbcbros um, display. Uh, let's make another package as well, just com .bbcbros um states. Just, just so we know what we've got. So, uh, in our display, we're going to want to make display. And in our states, we're just going to make three classes really quickly. We're going to call this menu. We're going to want to make one called game. And that's it. So, let's close the menu and game for now because we won't be using them um, for, for now. But actually, we want to open them again. Yes, because I am clever. And make these ex extends J panel. Um, game extends J panel. So let's just, if you do that, and import J panel like this, and add the default serial version, just so we have everything set up for later tutorials, so we don't have to do this later. Okay, so public display. What this class is going to extend is this is our main class, by the way, if you didn't know, and this is going to extend canvas like that and we also want to be able to uh, use threads in this class so let's make this implements runnable like that so if we add unimplemented methods you should add run and if that doesn't happen for you then just type it out manually uh, add default serial version um, like that so that is um, that's the class parameters set up basically what canvas is is it's a screen where we can draw on things uh, so that's why we're using Canvas. It's just it's something I like to use for my main classes and not so much for my actual game classes where I use JPanel. Um, so we want to um, make our main method so public static void main string args. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, then I suggest you go watch uh, some basic Java tutorials over at the New Boston. Uh, that's youtube.com forward slash the New Boston. He makes really good tutorials. You can also go watch my bring back. He's pretty good. Uh, just, just go learn the basics of Java and then you can come back here. So in our main method we want to actually get this class and initialize the, the this class. We want to initialize the ah, constructor for this class. Uh, so let's make an object of this class. So display uh, display equals new display. If you can hear that's my window going <laughs> Okay so and then we want to get a J frame. So J frame uh, frame equals new J frame like that and then we just want to set up our J frame so if we just import frame and let's do it, what we want to do is so we want to do frame dot add so we're going to add display to the game uh, to the frame sorry and then we just want to pack the frame so what that's doing is it's uh, as you can see it causes the window to be sized and profit the preferred size so we can uh, uh, size the frame a different way. So what we also want to do is frame dot set visible. So we want to be able to see the frame. So set that to true. Frame dot set resizable. We want to set that to false. We don't want to be able to resize the frame. Um, frame dot set. I did not spell that right. Frame dot set location relative to. We want to set location the location relative to nothing. So it's in the center of the screen. And frame dot set default close operation j frame dot exit on close. So what's it saying? It's going to exit when we press the close button. It's going to be in the middle of the screen. You won't be able to resize it. It's going to be visible. And this is just setting the size using some methods we're going to make in a minute. Uh huh. So we also then want to start our game. So display dot um dot start, which is a method we are also going to make now. So public or mm, 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 private void start okay and we also want to make a constructor so let's do that here so public display 
um, and that is cool. So in our display, we're going to want to make a dimension, which is going to be the size of the screen. So dimension size equals new dimension, and we want to make the size. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to make it 800 by 600, like that. So let's import dimension. Okay, and then what we want to do is want to do set um, preferred size size. You press control space, do set um, minimum maximum size, sorry, size, and then control space, set minimum size size. So that's just gonna set the size of the screen. So if we actually run as a Java application, you will see that when it starts it's gonna make this frame by eight hundred pixels by six hundred pixels. So that is what we would like if we change this to a high resolution such so as 1280 by 720 and we run this you'll see that it becomes that resolution but our my screen isn't ridiculously high resolution it's, it's only just it's like 1366 by 768 so we're going to say it like it's 800 by 600 so we can uh, see the whole thing on my screen so what we actually want to do now is um, make a boolean so we want to make a public boolean and call boolean one and call it running and this is going to be say equal to false because when this class is created the game actually won't be running yet it will just be initializing um, so uh, what we want to do is oh wait oh 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 sorry I pressed something okay um, so in our start method if running running is equal to true then what we want to do is just return out of this method um, but otherwise if it's not running um, then actually we don't actually need wait a second, we don't need those um, brackets because if running return it's going to break out so just like that um, then if it's not running then running wants to be set equal to true and um, that's about it we're going to want to make a thread actually so um, yeah. So private thread thread, and here we're going to want to initialize the thread. So thread equals new thread. Uh, this it's going to take this class and its parameters because this class implements runnable, so therefore it can be put in the parameters of um, a runnable class. And then we're just going to start the thread by doing thread dot start. So that's going to start our running loop. Um, so we've done that. We are now going to want to make our uh, to set up our run method. So in here we're going to put while running. This is where we're going to do stuff like render and tick and stuff like that. And then we just want to try and catch exception e. So we're going to try and put our thread. Um, dot sleep so thread dot sleep for um what is it sixty divided by um no wait it's something there's something it's something significant it's a significant number um if you want like a certain amount of frames in a second so the sixty seconds it it's something I'll oh, I'll say it to twelve but it's something no it's like sixteen it's sixteen point something um but we'll work it out so thread dot sleep for sixteen um so that is probably it's for actually setting up the uh, this main class where we're gonna set up this frame and all that sort of stuff. So that's all good. If we actually open our console, you'll see that this has been terminated because we have uh, set the default close operation to exit or close. Um, so yeah, next tutorial we're going to be doing about double buffering. We're going to be doing about rendering. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,